Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Installment Scout Selections here for Tuesday, February 7th. For you in today's play of the day, quick recap what happened yesterday. We had a loss in the NBA with Giannis over 34 and a half points at minus 111 on FanDuel. Real wasn't close. Unfortunately, we got hit by the double whammy of things that we couldn't afford to have happen. One was foul trouble and two was a blowout, and we got both. Giannis only played 23 minutes. It's pretty much impossible to score 35 points in 23 minutes. Of course, it's doable, but definitely unlikely. And Giannis really had a weird game. It looked like he was going for a triple-double early on, and Portland forced, I forgot what it was, four turnovers in the first quarter against Giannis, five in the first half, I think, which is a bad game by Giannis, and definitely the game flow didn't help. But either way, not even close, kind of a bad read there. Look for a winner here on Tuesday. And for today's play of the day, going to tr uh, transition over to college basketball, look at a matchup that only a gambler could love between Chicago State and Delaware State. Yes, those are two D1 schools. Uh, taking place at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And for this match, we're going to take the road team in this one. We're going to take Chicago State minus four at minus 110 on DraftKings. Time recording of 6.30 a.m. Eastern time. Covering this why we're going to take Chicago State on the road here. First reason, look at recent form. Both these teams have been better lately, but Chicago State has faced better competition. And you're looking at uh, just the overall form of Delaware State all season long. This team is 4-17. and 17. Uh, I think that kind of tells you what you need to know about this team. Chicago State is 8-17. and 17. But if you look at how they've played lately against some, I don't want to say good, uh, bigger conference teams, but they definitely have challenged themselves away from home. And they've actually been okay. Uh, ended up beating Coastal uh, back on the 23rd. Lost to Stanford by seven. But at the end of the day, they were winning with a couple minutes to go in the, in the second half. Ended up beating the Citadel, ended up beating Hartford. Those teams aren't exactly great. But if you compare the Ken Palm rankings for the Citadel compared to Delaware State, for example, Citadel, despite not being good, is definitely ahead of Delaware State. And just for Ken Palm purposes, the overall ranking of Delaware State, this team is one of the worst uh, 10 teams in the country. In fact, they are currently eighth worst in the country, according to Ken Palm. And Chicago State actually ranks 281st. So Ken Palm thinks that Chicago State's a much better team. I agree. And I think based on recent form, Chicago State should look pretty sharp against one of its easiest opponents lately. But to look at the actual. Uh, interesting scheduling spot here for Chicago State. They're on the road, and I know that that's usually concerning because teams don't exactly either play many road games or don't fare too well in road games. Chicago State, being a very low-budget program, tends to get paid money to show up at arenas and get their asses kicked against some quality opposition on the road. As a result, Chicago State has already played 20 road games. They've only played 25 games in total, and 20 of them have been on the road. Now, straight up, the record's not good because I just said they were getting paid to show up and get destroyed by better conferences. But they are 12-8 and 8 ATS, and as a result, they're kind of undervalued because they have been all season long. And money has come in on Chicago State in this game. Line opened up at 3.5, now it's at 4. I've even seen some 4.5s at Online and some other sites. So the point is, it does seem like this line's going to move, and I do think Chicago State should probably close closer to 5, maybe 5.5, based on how much less money it takes to move lines in college extra games, if you know what I'm talking about. But to go through the actual Ken Palm numbers, I mentioned the overall ranking for these teams. Now to get into the actual detailed part of it, Chicago State ranks 209th in offensive efficiency, according to Ken Palm. Delaware State ranks 355th. Chicago State ranks uh, 323 in defensive efficiency. Ken Palm ranks 326. So pretty close there. But Chicago State does rank 198 in rebounding rate, and Delaware State ranks 223. Chicago State's much better at offense and about 40 spots better at rebounding, 30 spots better at rebounding. So I do think that you'll end up seeing Chicago State just do enough to get the job done by at least five. And Chicago State is 5-0, and ATS in its last five road games. Delaware State, though, 4-17. and They play in probably the worst D1 conference in the country, uh, just overall in the MEAC. And Chicago State has definitely played much better opponents because they are an independent. And if you're looking at who they've really gotten destroyed by this season – a lot of them are, I'd say, more respected teams. Uh, lost to Kent State, lost to Marshall, Cleveland State. You know what I'm talking about, played Marquette. They really played better competition. And I think based on the current form and based on the – I don't want to call it a free win because that's disrespectful, but yeah, my point. It's definitely a, a lighter level of competition than what they faced earlier in the year. So I'm not exactly concerned by Chicago State's overall record at 8-17. and 17. I'm more concerned by Delaware State's overall record because you look at the teams that they beat – and they beat South Carolina State in overtime. Uh, they ranked 349th in Ken Palm. They beat Morgan State, which is their best win of the season, as they ended up winning that one. And Morgan State ranks 292. 
Then Morgan State avenged that loss about a week later and won the game by 10. And they also ended up beating Coppin State. And Coppin State ranks 343. So the teams that Delaware State's actually beaten have been worse, according to Ken Palm, than Chicago State. And Chicago State's recently beaten teams that are better than Delaware State in uh, just overall ranking. And those games are all on the road. So I think Chicago State's the better team. And I think that four is a little bit too low. I'll take the spreads. The play that once again here for Tuesday, February 7th is going to be on Chicago State. Minus four at minus 110 on DraftKings. Once again, I also think this line is going to move as it should probably close at four and a half or five or maybe even beyond that. But until next time, good luck to all of you and all of your bets. Bye, everyone.